Hello, my name is Joe Munch. I'm the Automotive Product Director for Phillips 66. And my name is Kyle Kress. I'm the Technical Coordinator for Automotive Products for Phillips 66. We're here today to discuss modern engine design and the implications that it has on oil formulation. GF6 is all about drive for fuel economy, and there's a lot of different ways that engine designers are making changes to facilitate that. So one of the first being GDI engines. So GDI stands for gasoline direct injection, and a lot of times it's also combined with turbocharging. And when those two get combined together, it presents a unique set of challenges that GF6 is actually, and SP, API, SP are specifically formulated to help combat. So those start to stop engines do save fuel when the engine's off, but it adds a, a new wear complexity to your oil design. Um, so wear is one part, but also sludge formation. When the oil is cold and you accelerate on that on-ramp to get on, on the highway, um, there's a sludge factor as well if you're in start and stop traffic before you get on that on-ramp. So uh, GF6 and APISP are specifically formulated to help protect in those cases as well. So variable compression engines are something that's relatively new. Um, you see this, uh, there's one Japanese OEM that is putting these out across their fleet. Um, so it gives you a great mix for performance driving if you're on the highway needing to accelerate. But then on the other side, it actually gives you a great fuel efficiency mix. And the oil actually has to protect across these variable compression ranges, different loads on the engine. So GF6 is taking that into account with increased levels of sludge and varnish protection and also wear. We've seen the emergence of 0W20 as a prominent viscosity grade over the last few years. With GF6, you'll see the introduction of 016 into that mix as well. So, glad you mentioned 016 because 016 is one of these unique viscosities. Um, you see a lot of Japanese OEMs really trying to push 016, and they're actually in the road um, today and have been for a couple of years. The key though is, is not all cars that take 016 can accept a 10W30 or 5W30. So, you have to be very careful about selecting that proper viscosity, especially the 016, unless the OEM allows leeway. And with the new labeling um, that is going to be on all the new GF6 bottles, um, the B category, which is going to have the shield, makes it very easy to understand, is this the right oil for my car, based upon what's in your owner's manual. We hope you found this information helpful. Check out more videos in our GF6 series.